Hello friends, in this video we are going to discover the top 10 cheapest places to live in the United States 2024. When it comes to finding the cheapest places to live in the US for city dwellers, the best locations to settle down are mostly south of the Mason-Dixon line. Alabama and Texas are just a couple of the southern states making multiple appearances on our list of the cheapest places to live among US cities. But if you're thinking about relocating to one of these places with the lowest costs of living, just remember to weigh the pros and cons cheap prices are attractive, but the allure can fade if jobs are hard to come by, paychecks are small or the area offers little to do. Plan an extended visit to ensure that one of these cheapest places to live fits your needs. Our analysis of the cheapest places to live in the U.S. is based upon the Council for Community and Economic Research's C2ER, calculations of living expenses in 265 urban areas. We then limited ourselves to metro areas with at least 50,000 inhabitants. We further supplemented C2ER's research with data from the U.S. Census Bureau and the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. C2ER's cost of living index measures prices for housing, groceries, utilities, transportation, healthcare, and miscellaneous goods and services, such as going to a movie or getting your hair done at a salon. Kindly make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon before we start this video about the 10 cheapest places to live in the United States. Now let's dig deeper into each of the top 10 cheapest places to live in the United States. Number 10. Jackson, Mississippi. Cost of living, 16.3% below U.S. average. Metro population, 586,758. Median household income, $54,123. Median home value, $178,100. Unemployment rate, 3%. Metro Jackson is a surprisingly eclectic city that holds appeal for Civil War buffs, blues music aficionados and even ballet fans. Every four years, dancers from around the world flock to Jackson for the two-week USA International Ballet Competition to compete for medals, scholarships, and spots in ballet companies. Similar competitions are held only in Russia, Bulgaria, and Finland. The state capital also happens to be a great place for retirees. The Milken Institute ranks Jackson 8th among the best large cities for successful aging due to its affordability and an abundance of nurses, nurse practitioners and orthopedic surgeons, as well as caregiving options in geriatric facilities. Older folks also benefit from Mississippi's tax-friendly approach to retirees. The tax situation for middle-class families, however, is more mixed. The bottom line? Jackson falls within the top 10 cheapest places to live for U.S. city dwellers. Overall living costs are more than 16% cheaper than the national average, led by housing, which is a third less expensive. Utilities and transportation expenses are also big bargains. Healthcare costs, however, run in line with the U.S. average. Number 9. Albany, Georgia. Cost of living, 16.5% below U.S. average. Metro population, 146,961. Median household income, $48,659. Median home value, $143,200. Unemployment rate, 4%. Albany, which sits in southeastern Georgia about 150 miles south of Atlanta, is perhaps best known as the birthplace of Ray Charles. And lest anyone forget, the downtown area features a memorial to the legendary singer and songwriter. Other cultural attractions include the Thronatiska Heritage Center, which houses the Weatherby Planetarium, as well as science and history museums. For those with more of an outdoor bent, the Flint River Aquarium keeps turtles and alligators native to the local Flint River. Then there's Chaha Park, which features hiking trails and a zoo with cheetahs and rhinos. Major employers include Phoebe Putney Health System, Albany State University and Procter & Gamble, a component of the Dow Jones Industrial Average and a major consumer staple stock. Although the unemployment rate runs a bit higher than the national average in Albany, the overall cost of living helps ease that pain. Folks spend nearly 17% less than the national average to reside in the metro area thanks primarily to housing costs that run 40% below what the typical American pays. Groceries, utilities, healthcare, and miscellaneous goods and services are also bargains, costing anywhere from 5% to 14% less than the U.S. averages. Number 8. Conway, Arkansas. Cost of living, 
16.5% below U.S. average. City population, 65,126. Median household income, $53,029. Median home value, $230,900. Unemployment rate, 3.2%. The city of Conway, an affordable enclave in the Little Rock North Little Rock Conway metro area, PUP. 749,673, is home to a number of high-tech companies, including information technology firm Insight Enterprises. At the same time, a large proportion of younger residents helps keep costs in check. Known as the City of Colleges, Conway hosts three post-secondary educational institutions, the University of Central Arkansas, Hendricks College and Central Baptist College. Close proximity to the Arkansas River and Lake Conway makes the city ideal for fishing and water sports, and there's ample space for hunting. Yet you can drive to the state capital of Little Rock in a half hour or so. Not that Conway is without its own more aspirational cultural attractions. The city is home to the Arkansas Shakespeare Theater, the state's only professional Shakespeare company. Although Conway's median home value is among the highest on the list of the 25 cheapest U.S. cities, it's still well below the U.S. median, and housing-related costs run 27% below the national average. Groceries, transportation and healthcare costs are also comparatively modest. Number 7. Anniston, Alabama. Cost of living, 16.9% below U.S. average. Metro population, 115,972. Median household income, $46,524. Median home value, $139,400. Unemployment rate, 3.8%. About an hour's drive east from Birmingham sits the Anniston metro area. The city's proximity to the Mountain Longleaf National Wildlife Refuge makes it a good jumping-off point for hikers, mountain bikers and other outdoorsy types. The city also has its quirks. It's home to the world's largest office chair, a 33-foot-tall seat that was once recognized by Guinness World Records. Major employers include the Anniston Army Depot and Alabama Regional Medical Center. Anniston's low cost of living puts it among the 10 cheapest places to live but it comes alongside a median income that's a third lower than the national median. That said, household incomes and home values are higher in other parts of Calhoun County, of which Anniston is the county seat. Either way, overall housing costs in the Anniston area are 41% lower than what the average American pays. Utilities, however, are relatively pricey, running 23% above the national average. Number 6. Topeka, Kansas. Cost of living, 17.5% below U.S. average. Metro population, 232,670. Median household income, $57,474. Median home value, $154,800. Unemployment rate, 3.1%. Sitting along the Kansas River out on the prairie, Topeka is known for its dense suburban feel of single-family homes, parks, and plenty of coffee shops. And as the capital of Kansas, Topeka can always count on the state government as a source of good and stable employment. The metro area supports jobs in plenty of other industries too, including healthcare, retail and manufacturing. The city is home to Washburn University and the Topeka Symphony Orchestra, but there are plenty of less high highfalutin attractions, as well. For example, the 1989 opening of Heartland Park Topeka transformed the city into a major host of motorsports. Topeka cracks the top 10 cheapest places to live in the U.S. for city dwellers thanks to a cost of living that's almost a fifth lower than the national average. Once again, housing costs lead the way on savings. Indeed, housing is cheaper than the U.S. average by about 28%. Groceries are similarly discounted compared to what the typical American shells out at the supermarket. Locals save substantial bucks on utilities, transportation and healthcare, as well. Number 5. Joplin, Missouri. Cost of living, 18% below U.S. average. Metro population, 182,541. Median household income, $55,045. Median home value, $149,500. Unemployment rate, 2.6%.
It used to be that Joplin, at least to outsiders, was probably best known as a place where Depression-era bank robbers Bonnie and Clyde hid out for a time. Today, sadly, Joplin is perhaps better known for tornadoes, such as the deadly storm that destroyed about 30% of the city in 2011. The city and greater metro area has since recovered from the costliest single tornado in modern U.S. history, helped by its status as a regional medical center. Its two major hospitals serve a four-state area that includes Kansas, Oklahoma and Arkansas. Meanwhile, other key employers include General Mills, Schaeffler Group and Leggett and Platt. Housing-related costs, which run about 38% below the national average, help secure Joplin's place among the top five cheapest places to live for U.S. city dwellers. Expenses for groceries, healthcare, and utilities are comparatively low, as well. From a tax perspective, Missouri is pretty average, but the state did recently lower its top income tax rate to 5.3% from 5.4% for 2022. It's dropping again, to 4.95%, with more rate reductions possible in the future. Number 4. Decatur, Illinois. Cost of living, 19.9% below U.S. average. Metro population, 102,432. Median household income, $46,807. Median home value, $110,800. Unemployment rate, 5.4%. Decatur, Illinois, and its surrounding metro area is probably best known as an agricultural and manufacturing center. Archer Daniels Midland moved its headquarters to Chicago in 2013 but maintains operations in this central Illinois city. Caterpillar, the world's largest maker of construction and mining equipment, has facilities in the area, as well. Decatur likewise lays claim to a massive corn processing plant owned by UK-based food ingredients company Tate & Lyle. Archer Daniels Midland's departure following a price-fixing scandal was a blow to the local economy, and Decatur struggles with elevated unemployment to this day. A cost of living that's nearly a fifth lower than the national average is partly a symptom of ADM's exit, but at least it's also something of a salve. Housing costs are 43% lower than the national average in Metro Decatur, and healthcare, utilities and transportation are much cheaper too. Those savings help make up for the fact that Illinois is among the least tax-friendly states for middle-class families. Decatur's status as one of the cheapest places to live in the U.S. is no doubt appreciated by its significant student population, which includes Millikan University's approximately 1,875 students and the roughly 2,500 people studying at Richland Community College. Number 3. McAllen, Texas. Cost of living. 20.6% below U.S. average. Metro population, 880,356. Median household income, $44,818. Median home value, $107,500. Unemployment rate, 4.9%. McAllen might be one of the cheapest places to live in the U.S., but it comes at a price. The poverty rate in the McAllen Edinburgh Mission metro area is 29.3%. That's more than double both the Texas rate of 14.3% and the US rate of 12.8%. On the plus side, McAllen is famous for bird watching because of its location on a major migration route. The Quinta Mazatlan, a luxury birdhouse with more than 15 acres of birding habitat, is not to be missed. The city also features the International Museum of Art and Science which has a specific focus on Latin American art. And McAllen is indeed one of the cheapest places to live in the U.S. for city dwellers. Housing costs are 55% lower than the national average, healthcare expenses are 23% cheaper and grocery items are around 17% less than what the typical American pays. One of the few things residents pay a little extra for is utilities, plus 5.4%, which isn't surprising given that temperatures routinely soar into the high 90s during the summer months. But surprisingly, Texas isn't a great place when it comes to taxes. How does a state with no income tax at all not end up on the most tax-friendly list? It starts by having the seventh-highest median property tax rate in the country. Number 2. Kalamazoo, Michigan. Cost of living, 22.5% below U.S. average. Metro population, 261,108. Median household income, $62,128. Median home value, 
$208,300. Unemployment rate, 4.6%. Kalamazoo annually ranks among the cheapest places to live in the U.S. Sadly, low costs are very much a necessity for too many of its residents. In the city of Kalamazoo proper, pop. 73,255, nearly 31% of residents live below the poverty line. At the metro level, which includes Portage, Michigan, the figure comes to 14.5%. The U.S. and Michigan state poverty rates are 12.8% and 13.1%, respectively. Another downside? Michigan is among the least tax-friendly states for middle-class families. On the brighter side, Western Michigan University, with its multiple campuses and research facilities, is a major driver of the local economy. Medical equipment maker Stryker is headquartered in the city, and Pfizer, the drug company, maintains its largest manufacturing site in Kalamazoo. In late 2022, the pharma giant committed to investing $750 million into its Kalamazoo facility. As for recreational activities, the Kalamazoo Nature Center hosts free daily activities. Nearby parks offer a combined 140 miles of trails and three swimming beaches. If you want to get away to the big city, Chicago is less than three hours by car if traffic is merciful. For these reasons and more, Kalamazoo also ranks among the best places to retire. Number 1. Harlingen, Texas. Cost of living, 22.9% below U.S. average. Metro population, 423,029. Median household income, $48,115. Median home value, $103,500. Unemployment rate, 5.7%. Harlingen currently ranks as the cheapest place to live in the U.S. among cities with metro areas with at least 50,000 inhabitants. The city sits at the southernmost tip of Texas, with the Rio Grande to the south and the Gulf of Mexico to the east. The Brownsville-Harlingen metro area is a hard scrabble place where 24.7% of residents live below the poverty line. That's about one and a half times the poverty rate for Texas as a whole. Comparatively low median household income and high unemployment are other grim aspects of the metro area's economy. However, just about everything, from groceries to gasoline, costs less in Harlingen. Locals save about 22% on a good cut of state compared to the national average, this is Texas, after all. The average home price in Harlingen is a striking $178,000 less than the U.S. average. The average apartment rents for $757 per month, or 45% lower than the national average of $1,369. As with not-too-distant neighbor McAllen, utility bills run a bit high, or 6.8% above the national average. Although agriculture remains central to Harlingen's local economy, the healthcare and telecommunications industries are rapidly gaining importance. Lastly, it would be negligent to forget one of the area's biggest selling points, Harlingen is only about an hour's drive to the beaches of South Padre Island. So, which is your favorite places among the top 10 cheapest places to live in the United States? Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this. Post your favorite places among the top 10 cheapest places to live in the United States in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too.